Hola, back it again for another dissecting video. But this time, it is a dissection of a crab. So basically, we will be naming the external and internal parts of a crab. So just an overview. Crabs are decapod crustaceans of the infraorder Bacura, which typically have a very short, projecting tail, usually hidden entirely under the thorax. They live in all the world's oceans, in freshwater, and on land, are generally covered with a thick exoskeleton, and have a single pair of pincers. So now, let's begin naming the external parts. First part are the compound eyes. The use of their compound eyes are for vision and help them pick up and bioluminescent colors of the plankton and other crustaceans that mix up their diet. We also have the two antennules. These are the organs of balance, touch, and taste. We also have these two antennae. These are the organs for touch, taste, and smell. The crab has also teeth. The teeth of the crab are used for mushing and crushing foods. We also have the two lateral spines. Lateral spines are used for predator avoidance. And the whole thing here is what they call the carapace. Carapace covers the head and thorax and protects the dorsal and lateral surfaces. What we see here is also an abdominal segment. And this one thing here is the crab's abdomen will flip it back. You can tell the sex of the crab by the shape of its abdomen or tail flap. It is a thin triangular apron for a male, while the female's is larger and rounder, so it is actually a female crab. So let's go to the crab claws, the smaller and larger claws. This one you can see here is a smaller claw. This small claw is used for feeding. And we have the larger claw. It is used to attract partners for mating, to threaten other crabs as a weapon for fighting. The fingers of a crab have segmented parts. First, we have the dactyl. This is the movable finger, and the second one is the immovable finger. This one is the propodus, the carpus, and the merus. The crab has also six walking legs, that is basically for walking. It has also two swimming legs, that is again basically for swimming. After successfully naming the external parts, let us move on to internal parts by firstly opening the carapace with a seesaw. Now, we are able to see what's inside. Let us begin naming the internal parts. First part is the mid-gut. Mid-gut functions along with the anterior mid-gut cica to digest and absorb foods. We also have the gills. Gills absorb oxygen from water. The cardiac stomach. It is used to engulf and digest food. It is the gonad, or which is the ovary, that is used for reproduction. A crab has also a heart. Basically, they have an open circulatory system that pump blood into sinuses or cavities. Crabs have brain too. Brain helps the crab understand what it is seeing. This thing is a hepatopancreas. This is for absorption and storage of nutrients. And lastly, is the crab's flabellium. Flabellium is used to test the composition of the water passing to the gill chamber 